We're asked to determine the limit using L'Hopital's rule. Let's begin by checking the form of the limit. As x approaches zero, x times seven to the power of x approaches zero times seven to the zero, which approaches zero times one or zero. And as x approaches zero, the denominator of seven to the power of x minus one approaches seven to the power of zero minus one, which is one minus one or zero. The limit is in the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero, and this is one of the indeterminate forms shown here on the right, where we can apply L'Hopital's rule to help determine the limit. L'Hopital's rule states, the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. So let's work on determining the derivatives of the numerator and denominator. To differentiate x times seven to the power of x, we need to apply the product rule, where we have the first function of x times the derivative of the second function, which is the derivative of seven to the power of x, which is, which is natural log seven times seven to the power of x, and then we have plus the second function of seven to the power of x times the derivative of the first function, and the derivative of x is equal to one. And now we divide by the derivative of seven to the power of x minus one. The derivative of seven to the power of x is natural log seven times seven to the power of x, and then minus the derivative of one, which is zero. And now let's simplify. Notice both the numerator and denominator have a common factor of seven to the power of x. Let's factor out seven to the power of x from the numerator, which leaves us with a seven to the power of x times natural log seven times x, and then plus one. Notice in this form we have seven to the power of x divided by itself, which simplifies to one. And now we have the limit as x approaches zero of natural log seven times x plus one, all divided by natural log seven. And now we can determine the limit by performing direct substitution. Natural log seven times zero is zero, leaving us with just one divided by natural log seven as the exact value of the limit. To three decimal places, this is approximately 0 0.514. Before we go, let's verify this limit by looking at the graph of the original function. So here we have the graph of f of x equals the product of x and seven to the power of x divided by the quantity seven to the power of x minus one. Notice as we approach x equals zero from the right and from the left, we are approaching the y value or function value of approximately 0 0.514, which we know is a decimal approximation for the exact limit of one divided by natural log seven. I hope you found this helpful.